gorgeous gorgeous girls never have to pay for a thing because gorgeous gorgeous girls always take care of their hygiene what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Anika and welcome back to another hygiene shopping haul video we took it to Walmart this time I'm kind of trying to figure out what different stores have the best options for hygiene so I can continue to go to those places for you guys to show you the best products so you already know this video is going to be a vlog slash haul this haul is going to be a little shorter just because I did not get a lot of things for this haul just because at Walmart they did not have a big selection but you know I still got some good products to show y'all so without further ado like I always said the vibes are right don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button just because it does help out your girl's channel and it does let me know if you guys like this video so I can bring more to you also make sure you're turning on all of your notifications when you hit that bell it does ask you if you want to turn on some but we want you to be turning them all on so you'll be notified whenever I post a video but let's go ahead and get into it what's poppin brand new whip just hopped in I got options so the first thing that I did pick up, you guys, is by EOS. You already know I love their lotion in the vanilla cashmere scent. I also got their 24-hour Shea Better shaving cream in the scent Vanilla Bliss. Now, this has been on the market for a while. I used to use EOS back in high school for shaving, but then, you know, I started venturing off to try waxing and other alternatives, but I circled back around just because I've seen it at Walmart, and, you know, I've been using oils recently for my shaving, but I wanted to go back to a cream to see what it was hitting on I have used it again since I bought it and I think it's really smooth and it smells so good for the price if y'all need an in-depth shaving routine let me know because I know a lot of y'all out here are not getting told how to properly shave and I can definitely show you how to do that I also grabbed this gel eye mask just because I'm trying to be a little more bougier when I go to sleep and protect my eyes so the next thing I got was by OGX now I know y'all have probably seen everybody trying all of the body wash slash body scrub type body washes this one is the rose water and pink sea salt a lot of people go for the coffee one but i want it to be different okay honestly i don't know what the hype is i'd rather just use a body wash and a scrub right after because this doesn't really feel like it's doing anything like i see the beads in there it's good for a body wash but as far as like a scrub and a body wash I'll stick to just using a scrub on the side, but I do like the way it smells, but I'm just gonna be real with y'all because I don't wanna tell y'all to go out and buy this and you know, you may not like it. So I'm saving you some coins before you try to jump on the bandwagon. But yeah, definitely let me know down below if you have tried any of these products so far. What is your take on it? What are your thoughts on it? Did it work for you? Do you have any other recommendations for me? That's one thing I love when y'all do give me recommendations down below. Those are so helpful for me when I'm gonna do hauls like this. So I'll know what you guys are kinda looking for or what you want me to try. The next thing I got was also this bar of soap. You guys know I love Dove, so I try to always go ahead and get a bar of soap for my kitty cat. Y'all know I do not use nothing else but plain hypoallergenic soap down there just because I'm not that girl. I cannot use a lot of feminine washes down there just because it simply irritates my kitty. It doesn't throw my pH off. It does very well for me, so y'all don't gotta follow the hype and pick up honey pot or anything like that. If you feel like that doesn't work for you and it's giving you different type of infections or making you not feel good down there you do not have to try those products just because people are saying that's what you need to keep it clean the next thing i got you guys is this shea moisture raw shea butter restorative conditioner with sea kelp and argan oil you guys know i already use shea moisture shampoo and conditioners this time i wanted to try something with shea butter in it and something that was restorative something that would help with my dry damaged hair because y'all i don't know if y'all can tell my hair is very dry i don't know what i need to do to help myself retain moisture but my hair is very dry so i'm hoping this product could kind of help me restore my hair let me know if y'all have tried this product down below what your thoughts are on it um, i'm going to go back and get the shampoo i didn't get it this time just because i still do have some olaplex and my other shea moisture the next thing i got you guys is by dove this is something that's been on the market for a while you guys know i already used Dove for my deodorant and the revive scent i used to use the spray deodorant in the past but i really just did not like it just because after a while do you notice with your regular deodorant it may start turning like gray or caked up depending on how you apply it throughout the day with the aerosol version what happens is it actually cracks and it starts to peel off your skin it doesn't stay there and get clumpy it starts to peel off I do not like that just because I feel like I have breadcrumbs underneath my armpit 
who just wants to have a breadcrumb feeling underneath their armpit but i decided to go ahead and try it again give it another try just because i seen Aaliyah's face with it and i'm like mm, she used this and i'm pretty sure she wouldn't use it if she had a problem with it because she's super particular about her products i got this in the powder soft scent y'all know what i always be telling y'all clean scent is the best scent to get so if you're not getting powder clean or shower fresh, leave it alone. But I have been using this for about four to five days and I can actually say I've been in love with it. I'm probably gonna go switch back to aerosol just because I haven't been experiencing that bread come filling. I don't know if they changed their formula. Maybe it's a difference now because this one says 48 hour. I don't know if the one before that said 48 hour, but I actually really do love it. It's not crumbly and it smells super good and I can depend on it all day long. The next thing I also got was another body wash, you guys, and this is by the brand Corel. I don't really see a lot of people talk about Caress on here. You know, they always want to talk about the well-known products, but y'all, I used Crest growing up and I really, really loved it. This is their Shea Butter Brown Sugar Exfoliating Body Wash. I haven't had the chance to try this. It does not smell the best. That's the reason why I got it because I thought it would be having me smell like brown sugar. Maybe it smells different when you apply it directly to your body, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna see what this is hitting on. I definitely think Olay and Caress go hand in hand when it comes to affordability and how smooth it makes your skin because I ain't gonna play. Caress does get the job done when it comes to exfoliating, hence that's why it says exfoliating on here. That's why I got this one because I love to say silky smooth. Y'all know I'm the silky smooth queen here on YouTube and I always love to help y'all be silky smooth as well. The next thing I got you guys is this Dove exfoliating body polish in the pomegranate scent. Now, I don't know what the tea is with Dove or what's the issue everybody have with their exfoliating body polishes, but I tried it before in the past. I liked it, so I decided to try it again just because I've been using and treat up for a while and I like it it's not the most exfoliating but it does do the job and it does make you feel super smooth and it does smell good now if you need some extra scrubbing some extra mm, some extra exfoliating I would not recommend this just because I feel like this is for people who don't really need that you can kind of say this is similar to the Olay KP bump body scrub as far as the texture they're not like tree hut where it feels like big old pieces of sugar so Walmart also had somewhat of a self-care aisle and I discovered that Dr. Bronner's also sells their sugar soap at Walmart so I grabbed the lemongrass lime kind then I located my boyfriend in the dental hygiene aisle where he was trying to make executive decisions on which flossers we got and I sadly had to stop that but yeah you guys know I use my water plate flosser but I included this in the video just because you know oral hygiene is important so you want to make sure you're also flossing so yeah you guys that's all I have for this video hopefully it was super entertaining for you I know I didn't have a lot so it was pretty short and I know y'all like the longer videos but Walmart didn't really have too much they had everything I seen at Target. Target usually has a little bit more. They had some other new brands that I've never seen before in there, but it didn't really just catch my eye. So like I said, let me know if y'all like these type of videos down below or if there are more stores you want me to go to when it comes to hygiene hauls. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.